G'day Marvel Future Fight Gamers, Vader G here, welcome back to the channel. Just doing a quick vid here on the actual pre-September build. Um, yeah, the up, update 5.5 .5, is it? 5.50, whatever you want to call it. And there we've got it straight there, Cyclops Tier 3 on the front screen. Uh, when I came into, and what I really want to do, I just want to do a real quick vid just showing how we can actually get these, acquire these new characters, if they're hero, if they're villain. And this is what I noticed when I when I logged into the actual game. Firstly, what I noticed is it is super laggy. It is amazingly laggy. But uh, first, I noticed Kitty Pride. She is an a bio sub, an X Gene bio sub. Uh, the same as Magic. The same as uh, Colossus. Or you can get Colossus as a shifter. Uh, potentially that might happen with Kitty Pride. I don't know, but we might go and check out the missions in a moment. Kid Amiga looks like he is normal X Gene. So acquire a 2020 X gene, uh, which is pretty cool as well. And I would say Rachel Summers will be exactly the same. So, so there's the first questions, right? So Kid Amiga, uh, X gene substandard. Uh, Rachel Summers will be the same. Kitty Pride is the actual bio sub. So a little bit of a paywall there. But if she's a good character, you don't mind spending 15 bucks to acquire a good character. That's 15 dollars Australian to you Americans probably way cheaper like 10 bucks or something like that okay so you might have to bear with me here a little bit uh, for the simple fact that it is really laggy what I'm going to do is look quickly and see if these guys are uh, hero or villain uh, in theory with the um, Phoenix 5 uniforms they should all be villain and here we go so Cyclops tier 3 we've got him at tier 3 already and these stats are good man they must have given us good cards at the la at the end of the last um, pre-build thing I sent an email uh, back to the Star Age of Mages sort of saying listen can you get us close to cooldown uh, at least the actual cooldown uh, cap uh, for the next update and it looks like they've done that but not only that we've actually got some decent ignore defense and some useful attack stats as well so we must have a pretty good card but back to stop getting sidetracked uh, Vader G the most important part this guy's blast mutant male super villain that could definitely spell the end of Magneto. We'll check out his skills a bit later on. Uh, he was on the live stream before, uh, but we'll check out his actual performance uh, through various game modes, uh, as long as I can get this thing to stop lagging like nothing else. Uh, so there we go. So he is a villain. Let's have a quick scroll through the roster here. Well, it's not going to be quick because it's just lagging like holy shit. Okay, Kid Amiga should be hero. Uh, let's see, Blast Mutant Male Superhero, very cool. So he's going to be a nice to have. Um, while I'm here, I might just have a look at their leaderships. We know what uh, Cyclops' leadership is anyway. Uh, so let's just have a quick look at this guy's leadership. Increase the mind damage by 40%. Well, that's going to be really handy for his self-leadership because all his skills are mined. Uh, could also come in super handy for, you know, obviously other other type units as well like Psylocke and you know maybe even Scarlet Witch okay so here we got Rachel Summers let's have a look at her details once again she should be a superhero which she is uh, and let's have a quick look at her leadership and see what it looks like uh, increases mind resist by 40 percent so probably a pretty decent counter to Kid Amiga uh, and other types as well but typically that's a pretty a pretty crap type leadership Okay, here we go with Kitty Pride. So she should be pretty good being a bio sub character. She's definitely going to be hero, so I'm not even going to check that. Uh, let's have a quick look at her leadership, and we'll come back and do the skills later on. Okay, applies to mutant allies, 55% increase of all attacks. Wow, look look out, Magneto, and crit rate increases by 6%. So that's killer leadership. That's unreal. So I think she might just be worthwhile getting, just nearly for the leadership alone, uh, if you're that way inclined. There's no obviously no way to, to force that. Um, let's have a quick look at the... Here we go. We've got Emma Frost here in her Phoenix 5 uniform. Is she hero? Is she villain? Let's see super villain so what this means is potentially if she's good I mean and, that, and that's a big if I don't know uh, and it probably is going to apply let's go and check that out to magic as well but if if magic has also got um, if she is also a super villain 
she could be worthwhile. Well, we'll see, because I reckon they're all going to be super villain. Let's see. Uniform. Uh, Phoenix 5, okay, equipped. Info. Details. Yeah, Colossus going to, going to the dark side as well, going to the super villain. Good on you, Colossus. And let's have a quick look at, and just double check with... Uh, Where is she? Where is she? Where are you, cheeky babe? Magic. Let's have a look at her as well. Okay. You do not own this uniform. Move to the uniform room. Okay, so it looks like it, we cannot buy this uniform. Uh, uniform effect. Let's have a quick look at this. And these are the uniforms they didn't show in the actual um, live stream before. But it looks like five skills changed, so it's going to be something to see. I'm not going to do this right now because it is laggy. I'll come back at some stage. And Starko going a bit crazy, buying a bit of uh, Odin's blessing there, probably trying to rank up some character to number one. And but it looks like anyone with the Phoenix Five uniform has turned to uh, turned to a villain which is pretty cool. We need more villains in this game. Everyone loves villains. I love playing villains. I mean, look at my username, Vader G. I like being the villain because everyone's really nice in real life. And you don't get a chance to be the villain in real life, so why not be a villain in, in a bit of a, you know, in a make-believe sort of thing there. Cyclops is villain. This dude, he gets a uniform as well. Okay, but once again, it's kind of locked behind something and and it looks like the star agents aren't going to be able to access these uniforms unless there's something that i don't know about here um so we're not going to be able to tell i mean he looks pretty bad anyone with flame coming off him looks kind of bad so can't 100 percent say but i'm going to assume that he's he's going to be uh he's going to be a bad guy right he's going to be a bad dude and if that is the case then 100 percent sure he will replace molten man um his, his uniform bonus though is kind of it's more survival based so applies self create a shield that is 30% uh, 30% of max HP and everyone's been sort of saying I don't have him at tier 3 but everyone's kind of saying that he is a little bit flimsy due to his lack of iframes which definitely could be addressed uh, through these skill changes I'll try one skill I'm not just with the lag factor uh, I'm not going to I'm not thinking that anything's going to be good and in fact we could actually yeah it's, it's not really showing anything that's about one frame per second maybe less than that that's terrible so uh, so you can't really even see what's going on so we'll have to fix that so when the server's back up and running I'll come and do some actual skill previews and we'll run through a few things but very cool got 50,000 crystals to spend uh, we might just uh, try our luck real quickly here with CTP, considering I really went shit this morning with CTPs. Um, you know, we might try that side of things out. What am I going into there? I don't want to buy crystals. I think 50,000 is enough for me. So we'll go into the store, we'll go see if we can actually buy some uh, custom gear chests here. Oh no, not that. No. I just I can't do that I've had enough of that for today all right guys I'm gonna upload this video quickly now I'm gonna try and figure out why everything's lagging so badly and if I can change some settings here and come back and actually do some uh, skill preview things as well um, all right thanks for watching guys uh, and be back soon